What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new iOS 7 camera app. So if we go ahead and launch the camera app here, you'll see that you've got a completely brand new user interface. The position of the shutter button and front facing, rear facing camera toggle and toggle for the LED flash and access to the camera roll is pretty much the same. There's not anything different there. But one thing is the options menu has been removed, so the toggles for the video and the panorama mode can actually be accessed by swiping on the photo mode just above the shutter button. So you'll notice the blurring of the screens when you switch between different modes. So if I swipe over here to the video, there it switched to video. And if I swipe again, here is a square photo. And if you want to take a panoramic shot, then you can do that right here. Now one thing you'll notice is you can't actually apply filters to the panoramic shot. So if I switch over here to photo, I'll have access to filters right here in the bottom right hand corner. And here you can see nine different filters. And if you want to take one with a specific filter or take a photo with one, you will have to actually tap on that filter in order for it to take that picture. So you're only able to use filters on the photo and square photo. You're not actually able to do that on your panoramic shots. As you can see here, there's no option there, or on your video, no option there as well. Another thing you'll notice up here at the top is you have HDR. So if you can turn that on and off right there, and that's only available for square photo and just the regular photo. You can also access the camera application from either the lock screen or anywhere that you can open up the control center, which is on the lock screen in an application or on the springboard as I'm doing right now and just tap that camera button right there in the bottom right hand corner. Now if you go to the lock screen here you'll see the camera grabber has gravity to it so if you don't slide it all the way up you can slam it down and it's gonna bounce like that. Now if you want to use a grid on your camera app you do have to do that in the settings so if we go into the settings here and we scroll down to photos and camera Scroll down here again, and then you have your camera grid right there. So let me know what you guys think about the new iOS 7 camera app. Is it the upgrade you guys have been waiting for? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.